Hi, accountability partners. David Halpern of Mastery Consulting. Uh, let's talk about the topic of database. Tactics for database mastery. It is the number one source of business in America and the world. Friends, family, past clients, circle of influence, professional contacts, referrals, you name it. So how do we best do this thing? Well, you know, Gary Keller of Keller Williams fame uh, wrote his book, The Millionaire Real Estate Agent. And in it, he made a comment that we should, that if if real estate agents want to become seven figure earners, they need to have 1,920 names in their database and market to them 33 times a year. So let's take that principle and apply it to all businesses since I work with a variety, a wide variety of businesses here and business owners. Um, he's saying roughly 2,000 names in your database and market to them roughly three times a month. Okay, now I'm in. You know, the reason I'm in is because it's so much more than most people I work with have right now. Although I will tell you this, that's not enough. If you want to run a great business, you must have ultimately significantly more names and a lot of contact with them. Why? Because marketing is broadcasting to far more people, far more frequently, both who you are and what you do. So let's talk about the tactics of database marketing today. Six ways that you can interact with people in your database. Because if you're going to interact with them three times a month, or maybe you did zero times a month before and you want to just go to one time a month now, I'm a fan of that. We're not, we're not looking for perfection here. We're looking for progress. Or you want to do two or twice a month. What tactics? What do you do? Well, I think all of us realize that if I text you five times a month, you'll be sick of me. If you call me three times a month, I'll be sick of you. If you eat, you know, you don't want to overuse a tactic. You want to mix them up. So here are the six in order of power. You can determine how to use them and throw them into your tool belt. Tactic number one, still the undisputed champ after years and years and years face-to-face -face appointments. There is nothing like face-to-face -face appointments. If you're taking notes, write down number one, face-to-face -face appointments and put a line underneath it because there's a drop-off to number two. In fact, our coaching business was built on the principle of minimum four face-to-face -face appointments with potential new clients every single week. And we know if we ever have a lag in leads or new clients or whatever, we just got to go back to that four person, you know, face-to-face -face every week. Okay. Face-to-face -face is it because you build relationships first and then you build transactions. Okay, second tactic. Ready? Here's the surprise. Texting. 89% of consumers prefer to communicate with, co with companies today through SMS messaging, which means specifically number two, texting. Number three, Facebook Messenger. And also, by the way, WhatsApp which is free texting and you can do it internationally. So it's wonderful. Okay. So number two, texting. Number three, Facebook Messenger. Put a line underneath that. There's a drop off to number four. Number four is phone calls. So why are phone calls, have they, have they dropped to number four? Well, the answer is because, you know, with caller ID and screening and busyness and also texting is shorter. It's more immediate gratification. People like texts. They're shorter. So you feel like if you get a short text, you feel like you should you can respond to that, but a phone call, it's a whole process and you got to build a relationship. Um, texting's key. By the way, you want a higher response rate to texts, keep the text short. Okay. Number four, phone calls. Draw a line underneath phone calls. It drops off to number five, handwritten notes. Handwritten notes have, are sort of uh, uh, having a bit of a revival because it's such a lost art nowadays. All you get is junk mail and not too many notes. So handwritten notes is actually somewhat effective. And then draw a line underneath that, drop off to number six, emails. Interestingly enough, the number one used database, most commonly used database marketing tactic by far in America are emails. And yet they're the least effective tactic, which tells me that most sales professionals have no idea how to run a business. However, if you want to improve the power or response rate in your emails, include videos or photographs in those emails because the human brain processes visual 60,000 times faster than text. Okay, you've got the top six here right now. My question for you today is how could you mix up those tactics in order to touch people a couple of times a month? By the way, if you're touching them zero times a month, start with one and build up over time. Rome wasn't built in a day and business is an incremental sport.